Hey, what's the word on Sean? Both bullet fragments were removed. Prognosis is excellent. He's still going to have to undergo physical therapy, but uh, the few remaining symptoms should be completely reversed in a matter of time. Oh, you have no idea how happy I am to hear that, Dr. Bro. I'll bet. It's all your fault. You think I shot him deliberately? Some kind of good way to avoid it. Let me tell you something about this. I usually go out of my way to avoid the business end of a gun. But that's what happened in that parking lot to both Sean and me. I was minding my own business. He was doing his job. We got caught in something that didn't belong to us. Stuff happens. Maybe if you bothered to check yourself long enough to identify your dark. I don't think you want to have this conversation with me, little no, lady. You're right. She doesn't. Because I think what we really want the tape. Uh, Mike. You. Jones party. Oh, sure. Right this way. There you go. Thank you. Enjoy the show. Yeah, what a good suggestion. Maybe we'll watch the entertainment instead of being it. Whatever works. If that was your way of apologizing for me, you wasted your breath because I am not sorry. Don't you think you're being a little hard on Luke? He shot Sean. It was an accident. Sean's not mad about it. Why are you? I don't know. Maybe it's because I'm a mother, or I'm getting older. But this macho cowboy, soldier of fortune approach to life, is really starting to bore me. And who are we talking about here? Is this Luke, or is it Frisco, who can't stop playing with his own guns long enough to be of any kind of presence for you? Anger with Luke has nothing to do with Frisco. Oh, and you just might be projecting a bit. Oh, no. You're beginning to sound like you're spending way too much time with Kevin. Trust me, I know the signs on that. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh, look who's here. When did Tony get back? Let's go find out. I think you let someone know. Hey, Tony. Hi, Felicia. Hello. Hi. How you doing? Fine. Good. So the buzz around the hospital says Sean's doing fine. Happy to confirm that rumor. And you should have seen the Mass General Surgery team. It was a work of art. When did you get that? A little while ago. 15 minutes? Two hours? Uh, you know, I should have checked in with you. I just, I'm, I'm into, but I stopped by the hospital to do quick rounds. And then I ran into Felicia. And, and, and I, I was horribly distracted by Frisco. And then Tony graciously agreed to take me out. I'm sorry. I, I thought I should have checked if he was home first. Oh, well, that wasn't really your job, huh? No, no, it wasn't. It was mine. Uh, I really am sorry. I should have checked with you. It's okay. No big deal. Welcome back. And welcome home to you. So when's the baby due? Four days ago. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> Shouldn't Frisco be here by now? Well, he sent a fax saying that he'd finished an assignment. So, yeah, he should be here any time. Well, he better hurry up. Dr. Meadows said anything about inducing labor? Well, they said they didn't want to make any decisions for a couple more days, so I think we got plenty of time. This is so rude. Uh, would you like to join us? Um, actually, we're waiting for my family. My father should have been here by now. He's really looking forward to this. Your family? Uh, does that mean Monica's here? No, unfortunately not, but she will be here very soon. How was that? I think going to La Mesa was a very good choice for her. She had a lot of support there, especially from a woman named Paige. You must be excited. You're going home. One more round of chemo. I literally never thought I'd see the day. How are you? I'm hanging. By your fingernails? I can't seem to shut my mind off. I keep thinking of all these things I got to do. I'm making my lists, and I don't know. I just hope I can get it all done in time. You will. You will. How's Emily? She's just trying like mad to sleep through it all. And she's doing a pretty good job of it, too. She. She's out like a light the minute her head hits the pillow. And she holds one position all night long. 
don't know, is it some kind of weird denial? Maybe, maybe I should, um, I don't know, get her to face it, say it. My mommy's going to die. I don't know, I don't know, I just, I don't have the heart. She'll accept it when she's ready. Listen, I talked to Alan, and he wants both you and Emily to come to Port Charles. Well, what else is he supposed to say? Oh, wait just one minute here. If you think Alan Quartermain would ever bite his tongue just to be polite, well, you are very much mistaken. No, we, we're going to welcome you, and so is the whole family. Thank you. This is very generous of you and Alan, and, and I don't want to sound ungrateful, but... No commitments, okay? Okay. I really just want to take this slowly. And you should be able to do that. God, this is so grossly unfair. I really, I can't even get my head around this. This is all wrong. You are in the prime of your life. You should be enjoying it. You shouldn't be thinking about everything you have to do before it's over. And you especially shouldn't have to worry about what's going to happen to your daughter. It just makes me so angry. Hey, beautiful. What do you say? You deep six the old stiff there and wheel into the back room with me for a little while. You really are incorrigible. Listen, I'll uh, keep a warm spot open for you in case you get the urge. Don't have too much fun here. You know, quarter uh, you might get used to it. <laughs> Does anybody think this guy's even remotely funny? So what was all that whispering about? Hmm? Our Luke is becoming a terrible flirt. Our Luke? Don't give him to me. I've got my own problems. <laughs> I really like this club. Let me tell you what, Luke is sitting on an absolute gold mine here. I mean, who would have ever thought that the people in Port Charles would be so enthusiastic about a blues club? Well, it's nice to know not everybody in this town is a cultural philistine. I only wish my grandsons had a deeper appreciation for the blues. It's what are you saying? Love I love the blues. blues. Well, is that so then? Well, tell me, uh, who among the blues masters is in your CD collection, huh? Eric Clapton. Well, yeah, his new album, it's all blues. Not to put the third generation, and he's English. Wow, the blues are universal, oh. Father. Yeah, yeah, probably even white guys get him. Oh. Yeah, just ask me, I'll see them up close and personal. Mm. Did someone gorgeous mention my name? Would you care to join us for the evening? Well, thank you, Justice. I was hoping to. Uh, why don't you follow me? Thanks. All right. Enjoy. Thanks, Luke. stories haven't we just about when she's sing with her band and, and i always tried so hard to see the way she was back then but i don't know the image was always faded you know like an old black and white photograph oh, <laughs> get to see the color. Listen, was she bouncing off the wall this afternoon totally just as you should see her bed stacked with all these dresses i didn't even know she owned about a ton of costume jewelry hair accessories and and of course all of it was completely wrong now why is that always the case with you women yeah Honestly, you men <laughs> have no clue when it comes to clothes and their effect on your well-being. I, I usually just grab a sweater and go. That's right, whatever is clean. Right. What you wear should reflect your mood. Otherwise, you run the risk of ruining a perfectly good day. And it's doubly important on a night like tonight. <laughs> I'm just glad you're here to share it with me. I want to share all your special occasions, Keisha. Mm, really? Remember, you said that. Oh, it's not that. What? You are supposed to be at least trying to have a good time. I'm sorry, I am. I really am. It's just that I cannot for the life of me shake this feeling that there's something wrong. Ryan is dead. Grace is dead. Everybody is dead. So what could possibly be wrong? I don't know. And I don't know how to explain it. It's like having a sixth sense. Ryan used to call it the twin thing, which is as good a way to describe it as any. All I know is I can't get over the feeling that there's something wrong. I can feel it. 